beautiful and welcome back to my channel and welcome to this video where we are going to do a full face of first impressions, a full face of new makeup. I'm going to try out some goodies. I have foundation, concealer, eyeshadow, lip products, cheek products, even eye primer. I, I have a bunch of things here. Bra products. I... I mean, I do a lot of first impressions on my channel, but I always come back to the products. I always do a monthly review roundup where I review all the things that I've been trying out for about a month, sometimes longer, and I let you know what I think about them, ranking them from the, the worst thing to the best thing. So even though these are first impressions, you will hear about them again on my channel. If you haven't been here before, hello, my name is Angie. I'm such a lover of beauty makeup. I love everything beauty makeup related. I try all of it so you don't have to. I try the things to let you know whether or not these are worth purchasing, if they're like similar to something that you might already own, you know, giving them a chance to shine or fail if that's what they prefer to do. And I also love color so much. So we are gonna try and do something colorful today. So if you love that, if you wanna see some more color in your timeline, if you wanna see some more beauty in the timeline, don't forget to subscribe because I upload five videos a week. delicious. I zoomed in and got myself a drink. If you follow me on my vlog channel, this is the zero calorie pineapple lemonade that I got. The jury is in. It is delicious. I absolutely adore it. I do have some new brushes as well. Let me show you. Let me show you the brushes. Like I said, this is going to be a first impression. This is not my final final verdict on these items. This is the new brush set from Alien Cosmetics. These are ombre from green to black and then the bristles are also ombre from black to green. So it goes from green to black to green. These are so soft, so beautiful. One of these is a foundation brush. I personally do not use foundation brushes so I will not be using this one today. I just do not prefer that application uh, method but there's also like a angled cheek brush and more stubby like bigger cheek brush this is perfect for a blush and then there is one that I would use for a highlighter brush this is a perfect highlighter brush and then there are three eye brushes so we are gonna see if I can use those today for foundation I did get this as a gift from my friend Maggie she was sent three shades of the bare minerals original liquid foundation this is new in Sweden but not like new on the market but things get here a bit uh, like later and only one of the shades worked for her and the other two were too dark for her this is neutral ivory 06 and medium beige 12 I feel like this is probably closer to my shade. Oh, this isn't open yet. This isn't open. So it's like one of these that you twist up. So this is like, this is PR, but, <laughs> but it's not PR to me. It is PR to my friend Maggie. She also gave me the concealer to try because that was also too dark. So we are gonna see if this works. Hello? Oh, there you go. Let's see if this is a acceptable shade. That is a really good shade. Maybe it is like one shade too dark for me, but we will make it work. What did I say that this shade was? Medium Beige 12. I have seen her use this and she really loves this. The thing though is that me and Maggie have very different taste when it comes to foundations. I have normal skin. I'm also like, I'm, I, I, I think I'm like eight years older than her at least five somewhere between eight and five let's just put it like that and i have normal skin more fine lines than her and she has more dry skin and she loves a really dewy like not set base and you know me i like when my base is a little bit set i want to be able to touch my face and from what i've seen this looks pretty dewy on her so that makes me a little bit worried it is a pretty nice i would say medium coverage and i like that it looks really good. And I do have a powder as well. So I'm, I am gonna be going over with this with a little bit of a finishing powder. I just don't like a sticky face. That's, it's not my vibe. It's not, it's not my journey. It's not what I'm going for. Okay, so I would say that this is maybe even a light to medium coverage. I do feel like I could uh, build this up a bit more, but I'm not gonna. I wanna use this uh, concealer. This, is this gonna, I think this is gonna be a good color. This is also from Maggie. This is the Bare Minerals Original Liquid Mineral Concealer. This is in light 2S. This is definitely gonna work for me. I, is this a light? Why do I feel like this is the same color as the medium foundation? That is a little bit surprising. Cause usually 
I mean, I'll be honest, a lot of people do use a little bit of a lighter concealer. I do that too. I have a little bit to cover up here, so I'm gonna do a little like that. I don't like when my concealer is super light though. I don't hate it, but I prefer something that's just like half a shade lighter. This is a light concealer and it is the same shade as a medium foundation. That makes me a bit worried because that, like, why? <laughs> why would you do that? So I totally understand why this didn't work for Maggie because she's very fair, that's what I want to say. She usually has a fair shade when it comes to foundations. I'm a little bit surprised that this is marketed as a light because you can see it's the same color as the foundation. Odd. I will say it looks absolutely stunning though. Like all of this looks beautiful. You can see I have a little mark here that's still shining through. I would say the concealer is a medium to full coverage. It's like has a satin sheen. Both of these have a satin dewy sheen, but they don't look greasy, which is what I don't like. I don't like when people say, oh, it looks dewy, when I just think it looks greasy. I don't think the dewy and greasy is the same thing. But yeah, this actually looks really nice. I like it. I'm gonna actually set this concealer with my favorite powder, which is the NYX Banana HD Press Powder. I will link everything that I'm talking about, all the things that I'm using, if there's anything you're wondering about, it will be linked in the description box. My links are affiliated, so if you do shop through my links, thank you so much for supporting my channel. But I'm gonna set this concealer with a little bit of my favorite powder, because that powder I know is good. So like, if it doesn't work with that powder, I know it's the concealer, not the powder. Hope that makes sense. I feel like I'm a little lopsided. Is that better? <laughs> okay, I did a little eyebrow powder. I do use, oh, I put it back in, but I do use the Benefit one still. I think it's discontinued. I wanna buy one that's a little lighter. I don't mind that my own hair is a little darker. I just want the background to be a little lighter now that I am going darker. But I did buy this brow pen by Colourpop, and this is the Feather Effect brow pen, and for some reason I bought it in black brown. The tip is very little and it's also pretty short compared to the one that I usually use. Is this a brush tip? I'm not even, I think this is a felt tip. I think this is a felt tip, but it's pretty short and pretty, whoop, and pretty small compared to the one I usually use from um, NYX. The thing is, the one I use from NYX, it is a brush tip applicator. It's pretty long and it's a little bit soft, which makes it easier to like, make strokes that make your hairs look believable. This is gonna be more harsh strokes. Like you can see, like I can come closer. You can see the strokes are pretty intense, but I think it's also pretty easy for you to make. Uh, is you, are you already out, sir? I think it's also very easy to go overboard. I feel like it ran out of ink though. <laughs> Feel like it ran out of ink. This one I bought. I was not gonna buy this. This, 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 I was, is I blame Huda. I saw her use this on her Instagram on different models. It has a very, very small tip. I bought this in Neutral Blonde and it looked so good when she was using it. I can't see the fibers in and the brush is really small. And I got so intrigued that I had to try it. So this is my first time trying it. I like using different kind of tones in my brows. So I use a light taupe as a base, as a shadow underneath. Then I use a darker brown to draw in some hairs that is the same color as my brows. And then I use a lighter brow gel to make my hairs a little bit lighter. You want to treat the effect of different colors in your brows. I'm not saying I'm doing the best brows out there. I'm not doing the best brows out there, but I do feel like I'm doing brows that I like. And I like having, you know, the kind of different colors in the brows to make it a little bit more believable, mixing uh, light ones and dark ones. So let's put this in and see how I feel. I do like the brush a lot. It's really nice. Okay, so this is my brows with the brow gel and the pen in, and this is just the powder. And you can see I don't really care about the powder looking a bit weird, because I do know that I'm gonna create a dimension in it. I feel like it looks good. I, I, I like that. It became a little bit dramatic, but I think that that is due to the brow pencil from Colourpop, honestly. So yeah, we're just gonna let that set, and we're gonna see if it stays up like that. Because that is what I need. I need a brow gel that gives some color, that gives some volume and some fibers, but also keeps my brows up. So 
so far so good. I like it. I think I'm gonna use this one, the bigger brush, although this is really big. Do I want to use... This is not the kind of brush I want to use for my bronzer. Or do I want to try? Do you use a brush like this? I think this would be work as a bronzer. It's not usually what I use, but I'm gonna try it. This is the A2. So this is the Sunstalker Powder uh, Bronzer from Fenty in Sun uh, Private Island, right? Yeah, Private Island. It's really soft and nice. Oh, maybe this is nice. I don't have a new bronzer to try. That's what we're doing this one. It's one of my favorite bronzers. Um, I used it yesterday as well, and I just really loved how it looked, so I feel like using it again today. You know what? I really like this for a bronzer brush. Maybe I was being a little bit too harsh. This blends out really seamlessly and really fast and super soft. Maybe I was judging this a bit too harshly. Because I love how that looks. That looks great. Okay, I was being too harsh. <laughs> I was being too harsh. I'm sorry. We are going to use a little bit of a finishing powder. I did buy the Glow Wish. This is by Huda Beauty in the Luminous Pressed Powder and I bought it in light medium. I did buy the... I thought I had it here behind me but apparently I didn't. But I did buy the foundation or the skin tint which was like a medium to full coverage, super shiny, like Go too glowy of his foundation and I love that one for mixing but I don't love it on its own but I thought that maybe this is the same packaging as the bronzer I thought maybe this luminous that was a powder thing would be a perfect thing as a finishing powder this one is said to have a slight coverage it does come in a quite a different array of colors but it's not a powder foundation it's more like a evening out your skin tone on its own or to use as like a finishing powder with some color. I, I got a light medium because I realized, I'm gonna use this other brush now, the A1, the big one, because I realized when I bought the medium that Huda's medium is actually quite dark. So the medium skin tint is just, um, ooh, that's beautiful. Ooh, Huda's medium is just too dark for me. So that's why I bought the medium light. Oh, I can definitely see that it has a little like color to it. Can you see that? It really does. Hmm. That really emphasized my pores though. Like, I mean, of course shine will, but I have other luminous powders that might not do. Hmm. It worked better in my forehead, but I do have Botox in my forehead. So I do not have a lot of, like there's not a lot of fine lines going on in my forehead because I got rid of that. So it, hmm, it looks really good in the viewfinder, but I will say it does. Hmm, I don't, I don't know. I feel like it does emphasize maybe more than I would like. Because I love a luminous powder. I love the one from NYX that is discontinued. I also love the one from Jaclyn Cosmetics. That's a really nice one as well. This is... Mm, I don't know. Let me see if I can turn this down and maybe you can... I don't know if you can see. I hope you can. That it is just emphasizing a little bit my pores in a way that this foundation just didn't do before. So I don't know how I feel about that. Hmm. I'm not sold. I'm not... Mm, not, not convinced. I'll use it a bit more, but first impression... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I did get one of these uh, Bare Minerals blushes from Maggie as well. This is the Gen Nude Powder Blush in On the Mauve or Mauve, depending on ooh, what country or region you are from. Hmm, that looks really pretty, like a cool tone, almost plummy pink. I am going to use a powder brush because I want to save. I could definitely use this as a blush brush, but I want to save that for highlighter. So I'm just gonna go in, this is one from Refer, so I'm just gonna go in and put that a bit on top. This is a, a matte a blush, but maybe that's for the better because this powder did just make everything look a little bumpy. And I don't even have like big pores. So I don't really know what happened there. And I mean, I use luminous powders all the time, 
But that one, yeah, that one was, I don't know. I don't know. Tell me in the comments if you saw it, because I saw it. Love this color a lot. It looks really pretty. I don't usually use pink blush, but that's pretty. It's like a muted pink. And I liked it. it was a little bit sheer on the sheer side. Okay. I have been looking forward to using these so much. Ah, it's a new Super Shock um, highlighters from Colourpop. This is in Still Loading, which is the... Hmm, the lavender one. Oh, it's so pretty. And then we have the one that's called You Got Mail. Oh, that is a nice movie. It's just a pink one. So I think I'm gonna use this one on my, like, here, on my blush, and then I'm gonna use the lavender one. Oh, I love this formula so much. Okay, so this is the pink one, and this is the lavender one. Yeah, the pink one definitely, you can see, has a more pink base. So for me, that is probably gonna be more of a blush. I'm just layering on everything here, but here's the thing with like first impressions you just put everything on and then you have to use them then you have to use them in different situations with different things things that you already have and know and love just to see how they react for example this powder this finishing powder I'm just gonna use it with foundations that I have that I already know exactly how they react with other glowy finishing powders and I will use it with this one and I will just see is there a difference because uh, right now I think there's a difference, but on the other hand, I've never used this foundation before, so we're just gonna see. Yeah, this is definitely very pink on me. There is no way, no way that I could use this as anything else than a blush. Like, literally, absolutely no way. No way, Jose, is not happening. But it is a beautiful, pinky, glowy blush, though. But a highlighter on me? Mm -mm -mm. So we are gonna try this more lavender one. I'm using a more flimsy brush, but I am going on the side, not like this, on the side. These Super Shock highlighters work better if you put them on the side of the brush. And we are just gonna... <laughs> this is such a highlighted look, I don't know what happened. I love that it is a purple. It's so different. I don't usually go for icy highlighters, and had it not been a Super Shock highlighter, I would not have gotten this. Let me actually use a little bit of the lip liner now because I am going to be using one of my absolute favorite formulas. This is the Nabla Close Up Lip Shaper and I'm going to use it in number three, I think. Yeah, it is just not super, super light. I'm going to do it like this so we can do a little bit of a 90s lip. I do have these two from Colourpop. I think I'm going to do the gloss. I don't even know, but let me, let me do this one first. As you can see, it's a little bit of a 90s lip liner that's a little bit darker. I think we're gonna do this one. I love both of these formulas and that's the reason why I decided to buy new colors. These are all from the same collection, that Y2K collection from Colourpop. I decided to buy some of the things that I thought looked good. This is the, this is the <laughs> Luxe Lip Oil in uh, Paper Pansy. I also did buy this one in the lilac one, uh, but that one is in my purse, so. I do love the Luxe Lip Oils. And this is the So Juicy Gloss in... <sighs> Plumping Gloss in... A Absolute Secret. Wait. Bonus Track. Oh, wow. Do you remember that back in the time? Oh, I love the mint smell. When Bonus Tracks was a thing? Oh my god. I remember... Mm, I remember the first time I found the bonus track on the No Doubts Tragic Kingdom album. Uh, I remember finding that, I was like, wait, what is this? Oh my god, do you remember? <sighs> With these glosses, less is definitely more, and I think I used a little bit too much, but we're just gonna roll with it. I actually have two different kinds of new eye primers that I haven't used, which is worry. It's weird for me because I usually do not buy eye primers, but I thought I'd use one of them today. I have the Glam Light Icing eye primers, and I also have the Milk Hydro Grip eye primer. I, you know what? We'll do the we'll do the Milk one because I'm curious. I'm curious about this one. Um, I bought this one because I I was. Ooh, I haven't even opened this one. I was curious. I wanted to know what this was all about. Oh, it is one of these. I thought it's gonna be... 
doesn't smell like anything. I thought it was gonna be, I don't know why I thought it was gonna be a squeezy tube. Oh, this is see-through. How do I feel about that? How do I feel about that? Is this one that you put, like, I don't even know what I'm doing. Should I be reading instructions? Maybe. For external use only. What have had to happen for them to put that? It doesn't say anything. Listen, I am, I'm just going. Um, and we'll s <laughs> Oh my god, we'll just hope it works out. Famous last words. I'm just gonna, I don't know, go over. Uh, what am I doing? What am I doing? We are gonna use these. I am so excited. We're gonna use the new eye brushes as well from uh, Alien. And we are gonna use the Astrology Quads by Colourpop. I did buy four of these. I thought that these were so cute. I love quads so much. I'm not into astrology. I don't believe in astrology. That's why I didn't really care which signs I bought. I just bought the signs that I thought was cute. Yeah, neither of these are my sign, I had to think. This is the, I think this is a Taurus one. The one with the green, there's a duochrome up, up here. And then I have this, this the Aries one, which is the red one with the like corally orange. I also have the one that's the Cancer one. This one I really like with the two cool tones here. Very pretty. And I think this is my absolute favorite. This is the Scorpio one. So cute and like berry and yummy. So I kind of want to use all of these. <laughs> I don't know really what I want to do, but I kind of want to start with this one from the Aries one. And hopefully, this is going to work out. This, I don't know what I'm doing. What am I doing? Okay, I'm just going to pat this out. It feels a little silicone-y. Did I? I don't know if I did. If this doesn't work out, it is my fault because I didn't read the instructions. Although I don't know if there's not instructions on this one. This is on the packaging. Grips, pigment, locks on color, blah, 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 blah. Directions. Apply a thin layer onto clean eyelids or under eye area and blend with fingertips. Uh, allow formula to dry down completely. Okay, did I do that? Okay, 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 okay. We are gonna let this dry down completely. But it's very greasy. How is... It's like... Greasy. How is this gonna dry down? I don't understand. Okay, so I did just try a little bit on the side to see how it works. Um... I'm not convinced. Uh, it works perfectly. Okay, hmm. Okay, let me rephrase this in a way that doesn't make me sound like a total bitch. It works perfectly to blend. I was worried when it was like a grip primer that it was gonna be sticky because the grip primer for the face is sticky. So I was thinking, I'm using the one that I showed before, so I was thinking, is this gonna be a sticky primer? Because that was my worry, like, am I gonna be able to blend on this? But since it is see-through and it actually feels silicone-y, it, it, it's really easy to blend on top of this one. I'm using the Alien Cosmetics E6. Like blending is, is, is easy. But I'm not convinced about the pigment. It's really... I don't feel like this is making the eyeshadows pop. I don't feel like this is helping with the pigment in a way that I feel like most eyeshadow primers are. Uh, not helping with the pigment, but just, or maybe it's because it's see-through. It does help with the blending and maybe it will help with longevity, even though I will say I don't have a problem with longevity. I just don't think that this is helping with the pigment. And for me, the main reason that I use a primer is to get the pigment to really pop like they do when you swatch them. That's how I feel. Primers are there to help your eyeshadows show up in their absolute best way, like they do when you, you swatch them. And I don't think that this primer necessarily does that. At least not what I think. I'm gonna use some of this one, which is the matte, um, what would you call this, like a berry? And I do have some brush here that's a little bit smaller. This is the A5. 
And we're just gonna see. Ooh, this, ooh, this, this picks up. Look at that. So I'm just gonna. <sighs> Makeup makes me so happy. Look at that color. Oh, so this is from the yeah. This is from the Scorpio quad. This is the quad that I was the most interested in because look at that burgundy berry. But again, I feel like it's not really sticking to my lid with this primer. It's not bad. Like, look at this. This is pigment. I just, I don't, I don't know. I think, this is what I think. If you're the kind of person that you just put on like a little bronze in your crease or you just want to blend some eyeshadow a little easy for like just heading out the door, this could be a really good primer because I feel like it's super, you can't mess it up because it's see-through and it's also super easy to blend on top of it. But if you're the kind of person that's like me and you just want your pigments to pop and you just want to pack on color and get maximum amount of pigment, this isn't bad, but it's not my favorite. Not my favorite. Okay, so I did use a little bit of this one from the Scorpio one as well to deepen up. And I will say, as soon as I got that initial layer of the red shadow down, I was able to build on the eyeshadow to get it as deep as I wanted it to. And I feel like it was easier to build on the eyeshadow than it was to build on the primer. Which does speak both volumes about the quality of these Colourpop eyeshadows, which is amazing, but also speaks on how I don't really think that this primer meant for making your eyeshadows pop. I am going to use some green under my eyes because I want to use this Taurus as well. These eyeshadows are bomb.com. Like Colourpop, like, I can't even speak. Colourpop 2021, they have been out here making kick-ass eyeshadows. I'm going to do a little bit of this shimmery dark green as well, just on top because apparently I'm trying all the shades today. I'm gonna do this shade right here with this more flat brush from Alien. And then I wanna do... <laughs> wow, that is pretty. And then I wanna do the duochrome from the Scorpio palette on the inner part and then the inner corner. Apparently we're doing all the shades. How? how I don't, I don't understand. Like, maybe I do understand, but... <sighs> yeah, these shadows are great. These shadows are great. So if you were eyeing these quads, I am spraying a bit because I don't want any fallout. Yeah, I definitely recommend the quality. I mean, now I'm using four different quads, which kind of defeats the purpose, but I just wanted to try the quality of all of them. So now I have tried mattes. Um, and shimmers from all of them. Well, I, I'm not going to use a shimmer from the this one. But I, I bet these are the same as well. That's the Aries one. So I'm going to put this in the inner part. Because this seems to be like a lavender blue duochrome. And I am all about that life. Oh, what a nice little pop. I'm going to try it in my inner corners as well. Knowing damn well it's going to be way too dark. <laughs> it's a fun look. It is way out there. But listen... Makeup is supposed to be fun, and I am having fun doing a fun look like this. I like it. Let me finish this up, and we can just chat. Because there were some hits, and there were some misses. Okay, so the makeup look is done, and I really like how all of this came out. Like, let me actually... Listen, I'm the worst. Let me take this down a bit, and let me see if I can show you how it looks. Like, I think all of this looks good. I really, really like the eye look, although the primer... I'm not convinced about the primer. Like I said, I feel like the eyeshadow built better on itself than it did on the primer. Like, as soon as I got the initial layer of eyeshadow, which wasn't that impressive on the primer, because it's just very silicone-y, I feel like it built better on top of that eyeshadow than on the primer. I hope that this makes sense. But I think everything looks good. The foundation looks great and I can touch it and not get it on my hands. Like it is looking fresh and nice. Okay, let's talk about some fails or things I don't like. 
I'm not convinced about this if you are the kind of person that don't really love eyeshadow and you think the trickiest part with eyeshadow is just to get it blended. You're not all about doing the, the, the intricate looks. You're not all about getting them to look super, super pigmented. You're not about like building much eyeshadows on top of each other. Maybe you just want to put an eyeshadow in the crease and be done with it. And you think the hardest part about eyeshadow is to blend it. I think this is going to be perfect for you because it blends beautifully on this one. Does it make the eyeshadow pop? Not really. So this isn't the kind of primer that I'm going to go for. Of course I'm going to try it more though because I always try things. Also the eye pen, like the brow pencil, where are you? This one. It's very small and it's very stiff. <laughs> That's what she said. But it just, it doesn't give those like effortless hair like strokes like the NYX one does. I will link the NYX one down below because that is my favorite one. Yes, it is small and it's detailed, but it still doesn't give the, the best effect because it's just too short. And I also prefer when it's a brush tip because a felt tip will always run out before you have done both of your brows and you're gonna have to leave it for a bit. And like, it's a hassle. It's a hassle. I, I it's, yeah, I don't love this as much as I love the NYX one. Um, if you are balling a budget and you're thinking like, oh, this could be for me, just buy the next one. It is better. And then we have the powder. I'm not convinced. I'm not the kind of person that has a lot of pores. Even now when I have like this highlighter on, I don't think that like there's a lot of pores because this formula just glides over and just diffuses a bit. This created pores where I didn't even know I had pores. And I like using a glowy powder like in this area and on my on my like forehead but this just brought out pores that I didn't even know I had in this area so if if you are not all about the texture skin I would stay clear if you still want a luminous powder and you were looking for something I mean I'm so sad that the next one is being discontinued I'm still hoping that they're gonna bring it back but in a different formula uh, the Jaclyn one is really good, the Jaclyn Cosmetics Loose Luminous Powder. It is a beautiful formula. I was kind of hoping that this was going to be like the next one. I don't think that it is. There is one from Dior as well, the pressed powder from Dior. But I personally don't think it's luminous enough for me. I do prefer the Jaclyn Cosmetics and the NYX over that one. But it's a nice alternative. This one just makes you look like textured. It makes you look like, you know when people are like taking pictures of celebrities and they're putting like the, the texture and the details to max just to make them look more textured than they actually are. They could also have been using this powder because this powder gave that same effect like just bad Photoshop. <laughs> I mean, I love when a powder makes me look Photoshopped, but this looks like a Photoshop mistake and that's not the Photoshop look I'm um, <clears throat> trying to achieve with my makeup. Anyway, I do like the look. I'm gonna wear this look the rest of the day. If you are interested in hearing some future thoughts about this product, do stay tuned, do subscribe to my channel because I will be trying them out more and then I will be getting back to them in review roundup just telling you my final thoughts. I hope this video was helpful. I hope you got a little bit inspired by seeing me use a little bit more of color. Color is always fun and yeah, I will see you in my next video which is gonna be tomorrow. Bye!